go back into story mode. Uh, gonna go through one or two things. Uh, some of you returning players may be eligible for some freebies um, for your online play, such as uh, some free cars or a free car. Uh, I think it's called an allergy, which is the uh, equivalent of a Nissan. Some, some, some I mean, one like minute that, he's anyway. tied up in a sex dungeon, um, and the next he's dead. It really makes you think. Maybe worthwhile as well linking your Rockstar account if you've set one up already. If not, it's worthwhile getting one set up. Uh, it's your social club. Get that link to, if you have Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch Prime, uh, and that gives you all sorts of. Uh, Free stuff as well. Uh, extra money and shark cards if you're buying shark cards. Um, extra goodies coming through, sale items. Uh, when cars come on sale, sometimes oh, you get so now exclusive you Twitch back. Prime on, which is usually really cheap. Um, no, it wasn't a booty call last night. All sorts of fun stuff. So, back into the game. I right. could come I mentioned over in the last video about using the invite only system um, to get yourselves online. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we've loaded into story Hello. mode. Well, in our case we've left off on the last hey, video of this frankly. Yes, um, like brought us out of the online yeah, lobby um, before we got ourselves killed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to press my oh, options be button. That's going to take us to this main menu where we can access the map. You press X, it zooms in. And you can see we've done absolutely nothing because we're, you know, brand new character. If you press your R1 and L1 buttons, it lets you browse through. So you've got your mission briefs, your statistics for, you know, it's the same. It works online as well with your online character. It will show you statistics. You've got your settings. Um, you've got your controls there if you need any extra assistance. You can set your audio settings. If you're on PlayStation, you can use your control speaker volume. Um, that can get a bit annoying when you get minor with the phone calls later on in the game, so that's worthwhile taking note of. Uh, your camera preferences, display preferences, notifications, your Rockstar editor, and your saving and startup. So, over to the game. So, we click over to online, first of all. Um, we can click here. So when you start adding friends to your thing, uh, you, you can join crews and you can choose your character. So this is where we mentioned earlier in video one, you can play more than one character. You can choose there which character you want to choose. So for now, we're going to click on play GTA online because that's what we want to do. And we're doing it this way because we want to go through to the invite only session. And this gives you a completely private server where only you are in it. and if you want anyone else to join you, you can invite them. Um, a closed friends session. It says it all really, it's you and your friends. Solo session, you on your own. However, they all come with restrictions. The preferred one, and I'll, I'll figure out what these are later on, the solo session, but that restricts you from doing and what it allows you to do in your closed friends session and what the differences are. Uh, it's something I've need to look into a bit more because I've only ever used this invite only and the main game. So you're invite only. Click on that. Off we go. And the load time on this varies from computer to computer. It depends on your internet connection. Could take a minute, could take five minutes. Where you land you can choose but at this stage in the game I don't think uh, we managed to get that far here we go looks like we're in one of the nicer areas of town we've missed out on our Mercedes anyway where did that go Ah, oh, well, never mind. That's one thing to bear in mind um, with the vehicles. You can't keep them yet until you get yourself a garage, which uh, is something we'll work on in a moment. If we open our map here, 
find out that we're on absolutely nothing. Um, so, the symbols we have here, we have the pistols, several of those are out the map. As you can see, that's your ammunition, that's your gun shot. Buy your guns, your ammunition, your bombs, your armor, some gear from there, etc. Uh, tattoo parlor. Bit of a waste of money on the game, really, but you can get yourself some tattoos if you want to do the cosmetics. Uh, barbershop again, change your haircuts, change your beard, change your colour, whatever you want to do. Um, you can travel there. Clothes shops, got several of those. You've got Bing Call, which is a discount store, something along the lines of Primark, say, for example. Um, and you have your ponds and beers and some other things. Knocking around, so your ponds and beers will be something a bit more on market. The difference with this one is this. Gun symbol has a range so you can practice your shooting. Um, you've got the mask shop. This is pretty good, this has some strange masks, you know, rubber heads, etc. We'll take that on one video. Uh, and your fair bit of brass. <coughs> okay, but the point of today is we're going to show you how to access the internet. So, bring up your phone. Here we have some options. You've got your emails. Now you'll get things through in this email from somebody called Mod Adventure and Complaints and Submissions. They're worth doing. There's some more sorts of text messages. This is Lester Press. Meet me at the Murray Park and something to discuss. Now this is related to a business that you're able to set up called an arcade uh, and it's useful for heists, which will pin further down the line. So, contact. So far you've got your cab company, you can ring yourself a taxi to get from A to B. Um, you've got Gerald who you've met. Now Gerald, when you click on Gerald's name, we'll sort you out with some missions, I do believe. Maybe other games. Hey, what can I do for you? So you click on request job. He's not got any available, so he's not letting me know. Shit do, dog. So there's your call logger that we mentioned earlier. So when you hit rank 50, if you're getting annoyed by any players that come to spawn killing you, etc., you can call a nice mugger on. The mugger stabs and runs away in a 10 count. So I'll catch you next time. So the online section here, yeah, play quick job. You can click on that. Um, but that'll come in another video. That that helps you. Uh, you can earn money by doing things like your races. Matches, click on submission, etc. So, your job list this is when you're in an online lobby uh, with the public. Um, you will get things firing through where people have set the job and they've invited everybody, and you can take the option to click it and do it or whatever. It's worth checking on here so often, and maybe something's up. Uh, your settings, I think this is mainly for your phone, gives you a bit of a Slightly more realistic feel. You can do all the themes, ringtones. It's all up to you how you do that. If you have the camera, useful for taking photographs or selfies. Self portrait, press your R3. That will change the camera angle. Get yourself some Instagram time. So, most important one is the security serve here. You've got no VIP invites yet, that will come in time. Um, your internet. So you have your own in game online browser. Uh, some other things here you've got media and entertainment, you've got Life and Game, which is a like Facebook really. You'll be introduced to that in the main game. Um, don't really use it much online, none of them are aware of. These are just junk sites to take up a bit of time if you want to have a look at them. It's entirely up to you. Um, food and drink, same thing. This is just you know, a little information site, so you can on there, have a good read, a bit of fun. There are mini games on some of these websites, um, but I'll do a video on those hey later on. I'll just make some money out of little prizes. You can see at the top of the corner, weekend, our actually. cash and our bank. Now, cash wise, one yeah, tip buddy. is do You'll not be sure of four dollars So, money and services. 
you may have the diamond seal, which is some might not going to visit in a later video. You have your foreclosure bank, this is for property. Um, click on this one at the moment. Into the site, it's allow you to buy lots of sand clubs, night clubs, um, etc. Bunkers, these are all little online businesses, and I say little, but they can make a lot of money if you set them up right. Um, this is something we'll be working up to, and we will work through that in the later videos. So, Dynasty 8, this is where you will need to buy an office eventually. So this place is marked for an office. You can add garages to these offices as well. As you can see, they're pretty expensive. The maze bank seems to be the most popular. Um, so you've got your stock markets there, Dynasty 8, this is where you buy houses. So you have your know, hey optimistics. So you can sell some houses, scroll down. Initially we need to be looking at something, say, medium to low end, you want to be trying to get one with a decent size garage, at least 6 cars to 10 cars, because you will fill up fairly quick, especially if you're doing places and you have to buy specific vehicles, um, but a good starting point is somewhere mid-town really, if you can get there, um, or just on the very outskirts of town, that way you're near everything, you can access everything, should you need to change your vehicle quickly, you can do it fairly straightforward. <coughs> so come out of there. So like your maze bank, this is your your money store. So you want to be depositing this money. Your account balance shows up here. You can decide how much you want to put in. Your money's safe here, nobody can take it. Uh, whereas if you carry it, someone shoots you, kills you on the main game, they can't take some of your money. Um, you can withdraw money from here should you need it. I'll we'll print that name for you. Get onto the property. Sorry about that. Very amateur. So you can click on your withdraw and you can withdraw up to the amount you have. Okay. Let's go back. Now we're going to look at travel and transport. So you're a really bought. This again, this is something that can be further down the line. Uh, you get to do some crazy kind of uh, battle in the arena and with extremely divine. crazy suits up vehicles. You can buy them ready made or it's got your something name like all this. over it. You're the first uh, person I called. Favorites. When can you see it with me? Right there. Now this one, yeah. As you know, <laughs> this one here is a bit of an understated vehicle, it looks like a pump of shit, but <coughs> Further down the line, if you were to buy this and then convert it in the arena wars, it does turn into some sort of crazy monster truck called a Sasquatch. Uh, worth bearing in mind if you're after something a little bit different to the car. Uh, as you can see, it's all extremely expensive. Keep your eye open for offers, um, because they come along quite often where your workshops have the price, etc. Arena wars is half price arena vehicles, you can get a silly discount, 70 percent off sometimes. So, you know, instead of rushing into buying things, just hang fire to have a little bit more money. So, at least just travel. This is where, when you're feeling a little bit slush, you can come and buy some aircraft. Um, if you have a hangar as well, a lot of these may require hangar storage. Some allow you to call them in. But the main one you need to be looking for initially isn't on this list. It's in the... Uh, wall stock. This little fella here is a good one to have, it can land on water. You can soup it with missiles with your workshop. You have your legendary motorsport. This is where your higher end vehicles are. Um, in fact it looks like here we have a 3 cannon. 
I don't have a garage to put it in yet, so I'm not sure if it'll let us buy it. This is the allergy that I mentioned earlier. Um, this is probably because I'm a return player. Pick the colours, pick it all with it. So let's go back to sort of buy price up. At the most expensive end, you've got your open wheel racing cars, or as we know them in the open wheel world, Formula One. You've got a uh, trike, you've got some high sports cars, you've got supercars, you've got SUVs. Crazy motorbikes, and as I was mentioning earlier about sales, there's one there. Um, right the way down, the Taurus is quite a good car to own, however, 323 grand, none of us have that money at the moment, unless you want to go and buy money in game, which I'm going to try and avoid, however, I will show you how to do it. Uh, some more sales items there, I really get into crazy money cars here, 2.7 million. Buy yourself a Rolls Royce, as you can see, they're based on real world vehicles. The Shafter that we raced in earlier that we found 116 to 325,000. So, as you can see, there's a nice wide variety of vehicles for everybody's tests. Now, Benny's. Pick my ride of West Coast customers. So you have your stock. These are cars that you can buy in a stock in the no upgrades. You can click on them, click on Priology, and it can turn into this at the skyline. So what that costs, again, hundreds of thousands of pounds to do the conversion, and then you throw more money at it in between. If you want something cheap and cheerful, which is like what we're going to need, you come in here, these cars are all sub 1 million off, just about to clean out there. So you have the uh, scooters, crap trucks, estate cars, saloons, fogs, motorbikes. Good motorbikes to get your hands on, which is fairly cheap to find Sanchez's, um, and also the Batty. There's the battery. Now that's one of the cheapest bikes in the game, but also one of the fastest bikes in the game. Great for racing. Some of these are the cars. A lot of the cheap ones you can find them in the rows as well. to buy them. It's a starter car for the muscle car races. we will find in here which is something we are going to buy later on will be a Karuma, not this one we want the armoured Karuma which is a bit further down because it's slightly more expensive we should come across that shortly if I've not already passed it there we go this little thing when these come on sale, you can easily pick them up for around 250 to 350. It's worth waiting for. It's worth saving up that money. Definitely worth buying because it's probably going to be one of the only cars you're going to need for quite a long time in game. Um, it makes you virtually bulletproof from NPC characters. So when you're doing your job, your missions, you get shot up by the police. You get chased here, there, and everywhere. Think of it as a, a small tank. Um, it's got a good, strong front end for ramming other vehicles out of the way. Um, you can shoot from it and it like I say it's very very minimal damage in this car. The only thing you do have to watch out for is other players will likely stick a sticky bomb on you, take you out almost immediately. Um, but for general use and for building up your money and building up your little empire online that is going to be one of the go to buys um, and definitely worth saving up for. So instead of wasting it on all these other cars, get yourself a car to start you off, which is half decent. Um, I would recommend initially one that we can find, and a good one that's happy medium would be a felon, which is up here. They are difficult to find, um, but definitely worth it. The 90,000 there, and you can find them on the street for free, stick one in your garage. And they're quite, they're quite fast, quite short. 
So another definite purchase would be in the properties area. Don't be tempted by anything just yet. The only thing you need to be looking for is this dinghy. It's super fast and it can be spawned almost you know, very fast here. Um, sea shark, hey, if you're desperate what's to up, get man? on the water you can pitch them anyway so it doesn't matter. Onto water stock. So eventually in game you'll need one of these teleports, possibly one of these depending. Um, for reasons I'll explain later on. These ones initially, a lot of them you won't need unless you're doing the ice. A lot of them are fun. That thing is nuts. That thing is only powered. Fantastic to have. But, uh, most people's worst nightmare when you see it brought to water. Um, this one some of you may recognise as a DeLorean. Um, this one does fly, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this is the Stromberg, this thing can turn into a little mini submarine uh, and again these things come on sale, the deluxe have comes with missiles and all sorts of stuff um, but well out of our price range as yet they sometimes come up in the casino and I'll show you the casino in another video the oppressor again, missiles um, all these things do silly damage, some are better than others we'll go through that later on the one we're interested in buying next out of this pile would simply be a buzzard, which is here. Now, not the strongest, but it is fast. And it does buy missiles, and it will make you a lot more money than it costs you to buy. Um, and it will become an invaluable piece of equipment. Just Hi, like the is the doctor in? So that should be your next target purchase once you've been it. Absolutely. Can I make an appointment? Um, the rest of this stuff. Can all come along when you've made your when you've made your way and got yourself settled. So that's about it on there really. Um, if you like going green, you can always buy yourself a bicycle. But at these prices, they can rather walk. Um, and that's us. That's the online section here. Done. We're not going to buy anything today because we don't have any money. Next thing I want to show you is the quick menu. If you press and hold the large pad on your PlayStation, this will come up with this side menu here. On your Xbox, it's the button with the two squares. So you have a quick GPS. This will set a marker on your map to the nearest ammunition, the nearest ATM, because you can put your money in the bank machines, the nearest barbershop, etc. 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 Uh, your objectives, you will be given daily objectives at some point and your inventory now then so this will be where you can look at you how many body armor you have left we haven't bought any snacks we haven't bought any um, i've gone through how to get these these are coming handy ammunition you can buy your ammunition from here so you know i don't know why we've got options to buy grenades and proximity mines as we don't own them um, You've got your pistols, you've got your throwables. Mm. Ballistic equipment services now, this comes along later on, uh, so you don't need to worry about that yet. Launch nano drone, this is something you buy further down the line. You can give yourself a drone that you can electrocute people with, or blow them up if you prefer. Your RC Bandito is the, if you played the previous GTAs, you'll know this is a little new electron car with a pump strap to it. Uh, I've got lots of cash for that thing. An RC tank is what it is. It's a little tank with a gun. Yes. And you can look at So, that's all for the menus. Thank you very much for watching.